I'm a way. I'm a way. 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 I'm a one to one. I could never be you. Low me tools, no, I can't be fooled. Low me tools, no, I hate these dudes. I'm a one to one. I could never be you. Anything you could do, I could do better. I can do better than you. Anything you could do, I could do better. I can do better than you. Drop my first single, let go. He rap. You thought it was a drought, that's cap cap I get the front and I get the back back Lil Uzi the facts, like that's a rap rap Bought some new boots just to wear them out Bought a new beamer, I run into the group what is up? Welcome to a video I haven't made a video in a very, very, very long time And for some reason, I just really want to I don't know, I gained this little like and some motivation and inspiration over the break when I was home for Christmas. I was home for Christmas in New York for two weeks. I'm currently living in North Carolina with my boyfriend. And I figure y'all know a little bit about me, but probably not much. So maybe we'll get there. Today is Tuesday, the 29th of December. Um, yesterday I did a really big grocery run because we had absolutely nothing in the fridge. Um, and yeah, so I just got home from the gym. I did a little jump rope upper body workout. Been loving the jump rope lately to get a little extra cardio in. Um, but for dinner tonight, me and Sam are going to do a pesto salad and a, I think we're just gonna do like an Asian marinated salmon, which doesn't really go with pesto, but I feel like It'll just, they'll just both be like good individually so that hopefully they'll be good together. On Sunday, I will plan out our dinners for the week because the absolute, I guess I can close the fridge because we're not there yet. Clearly I'm rambling right now. So um, on Sundays, I will usually plan out my and Sam's hours, our dinners for the week uh, because the worst question in the world is, what do you want to eat for dinner? I absolutely despise that question. Um, I'm currently obsessed with these. I bought them yesterday at the grocery store when I bought like a million things. Um, and uh, this one's strawberry, it's really good. I also really like the ginger egg one. This is the first time I'm having them and they're awesome. But anyway, um, yeah, so I hate that question about what is going to be for dinner. I'm not even in the frame. Um, so, I plan them out on Sunday and it really helps with grocery shopping and makes grocery shopping a heck of a lot easier uh, because I'm not just kind of like thinking of random things to buy. I don't usually make a grocery list so knowing what I'm gonna make for dinner really helps to narrow that down. Um, I typically spend a little bit less money because again, I'm not just buying like random things and everything like has a purpose. Um, and so like, yeah. Last night we had some farro with feta cheese in it, some balsamic Brussels sprouts, and then a kimchi, no, not kimchi, chimichurri, 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 chimichurri chicken thighs. Ooh, I like that, chimichurri chicken thighs. <laughs> um, so we had that, like I said, with the farro, which is just a really nice grain. I like it a whole heck of a ton better than rice, and Sam does too. It's also pretty high in protein, um, like a quarter cup of the dry farro is six or seven grams of protein. So pretty freaking awesome. It also has five grams of fiber per serving. So we love that. Um, and so like I said, tonight we're gonna do a pesto kale spinach salad with Asian marinated salmon. And I'm really excited for it. Maybe I will roast some potatoes. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to marinate the salmon now. I'll show you that. And then take goose on a walk. And then I have work to do, and, and yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna wash my hands really quick. Put together this Asian marinade glaze thingy for the salmon fillets that I got at the grocery yesterday. I'm super excited. I really don't make salmon that often, um, and it's something that I wanna eat more of. So, there's that. We're gonna, I'm, make, I'm making this up as I go, by the way. That is like one of my specialties that Sam absolutely hates is that I just, I know we're gonna go outside, just give me like 30 seconds, okay? Uh, Sam hates when I just like make up recipes in my house. Just follow the recipe, I'm like, 
I can do it. A little bit of hoisin sauce. A little bit of, where's the teriyaki? I don't know. Oh, but maybe we'll use a little bit of this. I have garlic and ginger. Ginger's in the fridge, actually. And, okay. Garlic. Yes. Oops. <laughs> Can't close the door, huh? <laughs> Can't close cabinet. All right, so I wish I had a really big bag, but I guess I can make it a tuppy. A little tuppy tup. Uh, okay, here we go. I think it'll fit in here. I think it'll fit in here. I feel like you guys need to be lower down. A little high up. Perfect. I'll go just like this. Yeah, my tripod is a piece of crap, so um, you're actually sitting in an empty candle right now. Can't see my face. Oh, I can move you down. One more lower. Which probably doesn't actually help all that much because I'm still out of frame, but it's alright. They don't need to see my face at the moment. So I'm really excited about the salmon, like I said. I picked this up at Publix the other day. Um, Publix is definitely way more expensive than. Publix is a lot more expensive than Harris Teeter, which is like the closer grocery store and also like the more typical basic grocery store. Publix just has better produce, better organic produce, better meats, like it's just better. So I'd rather like spend a couple extra dollars and have better food than getting cheap food. Okay, so I mean, you know, some people like cut corners with like you know like some people love to buy designer clothes and designer bags and shoes like i would never spend money on designer stuff but i will buy designer food i suppose you know that's that's worth it to me because food is going in my body it's going to make me feel one way or another you know so may as well make it good so i'm just going to put the salmon in here like this it's a little tray Um, and like I said, I'm making this up as I go along because that's what I like to do best. So, um, let me throw this out. I'm going to grate the ginger. Well, I have a small grater. I just don't know where the heck my mom it could be. I did have a small one. Alright, whatever. Um, I guess I can just use a big one. Use a small side. Okay, whatever. So I'm gonna grate some ginger in here. Use the smallest one, I guess. I'm gonna make it, I love ginger. Ginger is also really good for like circulation, digestion, your immunity. Ginger is just like a powerhouse of an ingredient. And it comes naturally from earth. Isn't that so freaking cool? Isn't it so freaking cool how stuff that Earth naturally produces gives us so many benefits? So many benefits. I love that. And I think that's why I love nutrition. I kind of think I need a little bit more garlic. Just, I mean, not garlic, ginger. Just a little bit. Love ginger. So good for you. Ginger tea. Especially for cramps and like PMS shit. So good. Okay. That should be enough. Wow, it's so yummy. It smells so good. Just a little plastic baggie. For the rest of my gingy. My mom said you can put ginger in the freezer, but I'm gonna try to actually use this before it goes bad this time. So hopefully I'm gonna need the freezer. I got this little three pack thing of garlic at the store. So let's see if I got some good clothes in here. I'm gonna open up the smaller one first. Okay. My tripod thing is broken, so like, Prop my thing, my jig up. Maybe I'll switch angles. Let's just switch angles. We'll get better at this, guys. Thanks for sticking. Nice to be in here. All right. Cool. So 
be a little better. Goose, we'll take you outside. Don't you worry. Goose loves to go outside so much that he doesn't leave me alone until we go out there, but there's just some things that I need to get done before we go outside on our walk. Yes, I know. I know, I know. Just give me 30 seconds. Maybe I'll just do the same thing with the garlic, but that I did with the ginger. You know? Garlicky, gingery, mmm. This is gonna be so yummy. I feel like you need to see my face, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna kneel down and do this. Honestly, it's going to be vlogging for measure. So I'm currently kneeling down. Same height as Goose. <laughs> because my tripod is broken, but the part that like spins into the bottom of the camera is like so tightly spun into it that I can't get it off. So like, just like the little nub is on the bottom of the camera. And so I can't balance it on itself. So you're currently sitting in an empty candle um, on my little salt box that my sister bought me for Christmas. I don't know if you know what I mean by a salt box. So let me show you. There's the candle. And then this is the little salt box that she got me. I absolutely love it. But yeah, so I think this is gonna be really good. I'm really excited to make my little kale pesto salad. I will show you that later. Um, like I was saying, Sam and I love to cook and I low-key feel like we just have awesome recipes that we need to share. So he's not really big on the vlogging social media thing. So it's probably just gonna be a bunch of me, which is totally fine. That's what you came here for anyway, isn't it? Um, and yeah. But hopefully, oh, so what I was gonna say was just that he doesn't love vlogging and like, so I kind of feel awkward on like, I would like vlog in front of him. So I just like usually don't. So it's gonna be interesting to like, just get over that stupid part of myself and just vlog anyway. Show you guys, you know, what we make. We make such good recipes. All right, it's like two like, small to medium-ish pieces of garlic, like garlic cloves. I did probably like a tablespoon of ginger, grated ginger. Um, and that's what I've done so far. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Now I'm just going to throw in a little bit of soy sauce, like I said. I'm making this up. I think I'm gonna throw in a little bit of hoisin sauce. I personally love hoisin sauce. Maybe like, I don't know, that much? Oops. Oh, that's probably like a tablespoon, a little bit more than a tablespoon. I'm not so sure. But I do think it's gonna be really good, and I really think Sam is gonna like it a lot, which makes me happy because I don't really think he's a big salmon fan, but <laughs> here, look, <laughs> here are his goals for 2021. <laughs> so, better eats, and well, here's our other recipes for tonight or for the week but yeah so that is <laughs> he wants to eat better so i'm making us a, a nice little salmon that i'm really excited about i think oh okay so anyway i think he will like it like i said i don't want to really put this back in here since i touched the fish with it so i'm just going to take a little bit more out i don't want to be like so sweet you know and hoisin sauce i feel like is sweet so um i just want it to be like a little like I feel like the hoisin sauce will just kind of help caramelize it as it like bakes or fries or whatever I do with it. Maybe I'll put it in the air fryer. Ooh. I also waste so many paper towels. I'm always put a little bit more soy sauce in. And then maybe a little bit of sriracha. I feel like we need to spice it up. We both really like spicy food. So. There we have it. 
This is my marinated salmon. I'm gonna put it in the fridge and we will eat that later. Okay, so Sammy and I just um, went down the street to a little brewery, which is so conveniently located. Um, we had a couple beers, had some good conversation, and now we are home. And I am putting to get together <laughs> my kale and spinach salad with a pesto dressing. So I will share that with you. Um, but all I have done so far is just chopped up the kale. I'm going to throw this spinach in. And I have this pesto that I bought already pre-made from the grocery store because every time I try to make my own pesto, I spend more money on fucking basil plants that don't last more than a week. And it's just depressing because then I hate the fact that they die so quick. So bought some pesto already pre-made going to massage the cow and the spinach with it. Um, and then we're going to cook up the marinated salmon. I'm so excited to see how Sammy feels about it. and shredded a little bit of the spinach. Um, and you may have heard of massaging your kale. Uh, it's really just to break up some of those fibers and make it a little bit more, um, what's the word, like engulfed <laughs> uh, in the flavors, in the dressing, in the oil, whatever it may be. Um, but... Massaging lettuce definitely sounds silly. So we're going to get started on that. And then we're going to make some Asian girl salmon and just have a great time. Wait, what is that? What's in it? Pesto. Hmm? Pesto? Pesto, yeah, basil. It needs to marinate. But what's it marinating? It's marinating in pesto and salt and pepper. Really? Is it yummy? Yeah. I'm telling you, pesto salads are the new thing. Right, Goose? Oh, you found a piece of lettuce? Good boy. You're very cute. Get it. So my mom, Sam, my mom bought me, well, Carrot she peel. bought a pack of these peelers. Carrot peel. Let me tell you, this is one of the most shifting, like, like the, sh the, sh the, is the best peeler I've ever peeled. Peel. I'm telling you, if you peel your skin. That'd be cool. Can I try it? Would that skin? be sexy for you? It to feel like you need some extra, some extra pizzazz. Wow, those pants are really tight. Well, they're tight, tight. I don't have a secret plan, so I was thinking cast iron, that bitch. Uh -huh. Get it going, get it going. I don't have a theater plan. to put <laughs> the salmon that I marinated today at like 8, 9 a.m. Um, into the cast iron. Uh, I'm gonna heat this bitch up and then throw some oil in there. Put 
put the salmon in. It smells so good. When Sam comes back in, I'll give you his reaction. Oh my god. I could put my head in here and smell forever. It doesn't smell fishy, it just smells Asian y. Potatoes are gonna take so long. So I was going to roast some potatoes with this dinner, but honestly, I think I think that they're. Blah, blah, blah. I think they're gonna take too long. Every Tuesday night, tonight is Tuesday. Uh, there's also a food truck in our apartment complex. Who Sam just got a little appetizer from them. Whatever it may be, I have no idea. Um, and uh, potatoes are probably just gonna be too much. Plus, we have farro from last night that we didn't finish, so if we want a carb, we can just finish that. not an appetizer. No. That's a whole That's ass good. meal. That. Are you gonna eat my salmon or not? Yeah. No you're not. It's fine. Salmon? Probably not. Well honestly. Oh yeah. Alright. That's fun. I wish I knew how to twerk. Ready? Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you watching me? <laughs> I think this edge is better if I don't watch. It's as close as you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 go twerking. Okay, okay. <coughs> <laughs> My hips don't move like that. That is Being not. Being a white girl with a big booty. That's not a self. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have a big butt that you can <coughs> twerk. A self-limiting thought is not that. If I practiced, I believe in myself and I could twerk, but I don't. I don't try. So my question is: This is just regular salmon. Like, if it's not cooked all the way through, is it like sushi? Yeah. Or should it, does it need to cook all the way through? Will we be sick? No. Plus, I think it pretty much cooked all the way through. Okay. You need a little bit of room, but I think you're in a good spot. Mmm. It tastes like we are in China. Really? Uh, Japan. Japan? It tastes right. like we're in Japan, not China. I thought sushi was Japan. Are we in China or are we in Japan? Definitely Japan. Japan? Yeah, it's like Japan. I guess I do a cool stuff in Japan. This is really yummy. It was, I think that was like a really good cheesesteak, do you? Like, it's pretty good. I don't really, so here's the thing with me and my cheesesteak ratings is that like I don't necessarily know Many, like I don't have much. Handle my business, no need to hear me out. Talking too much, say less. If it's less than a check, say less. If you can say a best, say less. I'm taking all best, say less. Talking too much, say less. If it's less than a check, say less. If you can say a best, say less.